last time on Island ADV. The trails opened up last week and I'm out here on my favorite ATV trail on the island, Red Isle of course. It's hard to watch the trail so far downfield. How's she going? How are the trails you find? This is where do you come from? I come all the way from Friston. Oh, well, we come from Winslow and Tormaster. Not too bad. Yeah, mud all dried up probably, eh? Pretty well dried up. That's usually a big sloppy mess. Oh, I know. Oh, yeah. And I like the new ways they've been putting through the woods and stuff. Yeah. Lots yeah. of trunks. So, on this thing, it's really fun. Oh, yeah, we'll be that thing all together. Yeah. It's so fun, man. It's the most fun thing I've ever owned. I just love it so much. See you, boys. All right, let's keep pushing. They said the Winslow area, the first stage, usually our first stage, when me and Brandon usually do this, we start there. It's actually quite dry. So the last time I took you guys through this, it was all bad mud. And we want to go left to Rue, eh? Are we sure? Yeah, yeah. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, so usually this is the worst section, but it's some in a, in a way it's some probably one of the funnest. <laughs> but they just came from there though. So we're looking pretty good. All right, let's let's slow the roll here. I'm just gonna be careful with this. Sometimes you get the odd problem area, like right there. Oh, that's so cool, eh? Just skip over it, I guess. And I gotta go super careful through there. Another group there, having a time. Well, we're headed right. Do you hear the front? I gotta tighten up that uh, that header gasket again. Whoa, almost scoot up. Nice. Very good. Awesome recovery there. You probably couldn't even tell. But I got a little shaky there for a second. <laughs> These TKC 80s man are giving up the ghost. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I don't even know how many kilometers it's been, but it's not been a lot. Alright, stay frosty. Getting into her. Big drop here. Ooh, almost ate that tree. A big drop. A slow creep. Poor line choice. That's all right. Good recovery. What a beautiful day for this, folks. Man. Ah, oh, man, I love this so much. You know what? That's why I bought, that's one of the number one reasons why I bought the KLR 650, because I wanted to get back 
on ATV trails, you know what I'm saying? Like, and when I bought it, I was like, I'm gonna put this on the ATV trails. I'm gonna put this through mud. And everybody says, you know, the KLR does everything, but it doesn't do anything really good. But you know what, I'm having a great time. So maybe it does great times really good. Oh, they fixed this spot, sweet. Up, I'll go high here and then over and over through this. Yeah, usually this is a super swamp. the workout now. Well, I guess the TKC-80s aren't doing too bad. Stood up through all that, no problem. Nice. It's not ever yet, though. Beauty. I don't know if you've noticed or not too, the fan hasn't come on once on the bike since. And you know what that means? One, it's not super hot out. <laughs> Two, I've got a steady pace. My pace is like decently steady. So I'm not crawling. Oh, uh, how do I get out of this situation? I'm just gonna sit on the edge of the trail. We're not going on the trail, we're just sitting on the edge. We're gonna turn off the bike and we're just gonna wait. Beauty looking brute force. Nice. Places I'd like to run into ATVs. Uh, not on my front fairing and right here <laughs> or and not and then not on the heavy trail like we just came through this is like the perfect time to meet up with those guys <laughs> and this is the thing too because the number one trailer drop if you're looking to get into the uh, red isle system the number one trailer drop is is up by uh toy master which is where we're headed so we're going to head towards vehicles coming this way so we got to be extra Extra frosty here. Oh, we got a beautiful line of sight here. Let's see, can I see? Can I see? Hard to see. Beautiful spot. I keep saying it, man, but I mean it. This is where the 14 tooth sprocket would come into hand in handy. I, I if you want to know, I run stocks gearing. Oh boys, okay. I shouldn't I shouldn't have sat for that. Jeez. I feel bad. Get up. Oh, make the engine work. Oh my God, that was excellent work. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. Did you see that? Like, I did have to sit down a bit, but I got right back up. Ah, ooh, a log bridge. Oh man, trying to stay focused on the trail and also have fun. Is that a log bridge? It is. Oh. Uh oh, we're gonna have to be careful with this one. You still on? Yep. Ugh. 
<laughs> oh yeah. We could come out right here. This is a problem right here. Let's watch it. It's good to walk these things out. Well, there's the fan. Oh boy, it's stalled her. Yeah! Got it. Let's park right here, get off the trail. Oh geez. Wish I didn't stall it though. What are you gonna do when you live in a shoe? We got all sorts of log bridge experience. We should have nailed that. Oh well. Something to practice, am I right? So yeah, this is the uh, the off-road kit, I guess. I figured I should, while I'm taking a break, I should stop. I've got a, uh, a Thor something chest <laughs> roost protect deflector. It's got really nice. I got the idea from this from Hugo. I saw him, he had the bicep protectors that are really good. I got a nice little jersey. Underneath the jersey is just a t-shirt. Underneath this gear is regular riding gear. I really like it because of the uh, the knee pads. They're really cool. Overall, she's a beauty day for this trail riding. So let's uh, let's finish her up. All right. Last little bit of it here. More new terrain. Whoa, look. This is right, eh? I'd be watching these stumps. Stay away from that tree. <laughs> if you want to see, whoa, what was that? It's a stick. <laughs> if you want to see more of this trail when it is swamp, um, I'll try to leave a link in the description or somewhere where you can watch me and Brandon go at it with the uh with the mud look at this what is this this is the soupiest spot this is the crazy spot look what they did put all the logs down uh i wonder what the plan is for that just leave it and fill it probably for the best day eh? but the old salisbury in me saying uh <laughs> otherwise <laughs> oh yeah look at this this used to be swamp too oh it's it's really good to see that this is done up uh, like i said again you know, the folks that look after this trail, they do such a great job at keeping it just beautiful, you know? And it's super important to do that. Because then it stays great for everyone. You know, and the landowners are happy and the ATV clubs are happy. It's just great. So, once again, thanks a lot to everyone here at the Red Isle ATV Club for making such an amazing place for us to all enjoy. Sorry for the wind. <laughs> but it's just great. All right, let's keep pushing. We're almost done here. And that's it. We are in Winslow. And it is windy. <laughs> But we made it. Another wonderful trail ride here on the Red Isle ATV trail system. Friston to Winslow is what we put together here today, folks, and it was a blast. A super, super fun time, again, on the KLR 650. You know what? I try to get the max out of this bike as much as I can. You know, like, I love riding it on trails like this. I love riding it on dual track and dirt roads and i love running it on the asphalt to work and like you know through the twisties there's so much to be had with this bike it'll give you so much if you let it and if you push your boundaries just a tiny bit you'll find the adventure that it can take it to anyway i hope you guys are getting into a good adventure if your atv season is up and you're into the atv runs be safe and have a blast definitely come out and check out red isle it's a great time but until the next time we ride together until the next trail we see together Take care, ride safe.